find the two binomials that multiply to the polynomial below. All right, before we solve this together, I suggest you pause the video and try it on your own. Okay, so like any great problem, there are many ways to solve it. My favorite way of solving a problem like this is to set up an area model, uh, or as my students call it, uh, pundit squares, like you see in biology. So I'm gonna set up four regions here. In no way is this thing proportional. It's just a guide for myself. So I know, I know that I'm trying to find you know, two binomials that multiply to this trinomial, this binomial here. Um, so what are they? Well, um, we need to have x squared and minus 36. So I put those into my square here. So now, how do I get x squared? Well, assuming we've got a square region, it's got to be x by x, right? And I want it to be square because I'm trying to factor this thing into two pieces. So two numbers times itself, two equal numbers here. Now, factors of negative 36, there are lots of them, uh, but what I'm going to actually choose is minus 6 and plus 6. Okay, why? Well, check this out here. Uh, in this region, we have negative 6x because negative 6 times x, or in this case, x is here, gives us this area. It's negative 6x. But in this region, we have positive 6 times x. So that's plus 6x. How do I know this is correct? Well, let's add those four pieces up. x squared minus 6x plus 6x minus 36. Look at what's happening here, right? The minus 6x and plus 6x are 0. They cancel out. And what remains, as you can see here, we have then we would have x squared minus 36, right? Which is our original, uh, our original binomial here. So I, anyway, why did I choose opposite factors? I knew that this is what's called the middle term, excuse me, middle term or B term has to cancel out because it's not there. We just have the, the first term and the constant. What am I talking about? Well, in, in um, polynomials, in quadratic polynomials, they're written in standard form as ax squared plus bx plus c. In other words, like let's say you have 2x to the squared plus, uh, let's say, 4 plus, and then plus 5x. Well, here, this is uh, typical where we have c is the constant at the end. a is the coefficient of x squared, and b is the coefficient of x. So the first term is typically something times x squared plus something times x plus a constant. And I know that, right? This is called standard form. Now, if you see something that is missing, if you, and especially if you notice that this bx term is missing, notice there's nothing here. There's just, in this case, a is 1, and, right, and c is negative 36. Notice there's no bx term. You might suspect it's a difference of two squares. And you know it's a difference of two squares because you're literally finding the difference or subtracting two perfect squares, 36 and x squared. When that happens, you know the middle term has been canceled out and you have opposite factors here. Now, that doesn't ring a bell for you. Look at the pattern here. The answer would be the product of this binomial, x minus 6, times this binomial, x plus 6. So if everything I said so far is misleading you, take a look at this. Here, when you factor the difference of two squares, notice how cool the answer is. The first term is the square root of x, or the square root of whatever, of whatever perfect square you have here. And the second term is the negative and positive square root of the second term. So if you have a difference of two squares, it's going to be the square root of the first term minus the square root of the second term, and then times the square root of the first term plus the square root of the second term, right? Or you can switch this around. You, you might also like to write this as x plus 6 times x minus 6, right? The commutative property tells us we can switch the order there. Anyway, so that's the little intro. I uh, hope this helped.